So the first question is, could you briefly introduce yourself and your professional experience? Yeah, so I'm Techval, I'm a technical evangelist at Mapper in Europe. So I'm helping the big data community and customer to adopt big data technology globally and Mapper especially. And my experience is mostly in software vendors and I used to work at other NoSQL vendors like MongoDB and Couchbase when I switched to move to big data because most of new projects and exciting projects are working on platforms like uh, Mapar. Thank you. So what is the key differentiator of Mapar compared to the East competitors? So it depends on where you look at the competition, but I will say that a big discussion we have is regarding other Hadoop distribution. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the key point about Mapar is today we are a lot more than a simple Hadoop. What we, if you look at the, on our website, on the way we position our product, it's what we call Mapper Converged Data Platform. It's because we want in a single platform to provide many tools, all the features that you need to build big data application for sure, but also streams data in real time, build your kind of, uh, any type of applications at the top of Mapper. And um, the key differentiator will be come from the way, the way we organize the data on disk. So we have a, what we call a real-time read-on-write file system that allows you to store any type of data, small and large file. You can update a small file. You can do anything you want. It's a big, big difference compared with, with HDFS. We use HDFS as an API to access the information, but not to store the data. We have a mapper file system for that. Okay, thanks. So how does MAPAR relate to the Apache Hadoop Big Data Management Open Source project? So, so in, as part of our converged data platform, Hadoop is one of the way you can develop data-oriented uh, applications. So everything you have in Hadoop, like the SQL on Hadoop with Hive, uh, MapReduce obviously, can, you can be used because we support the open source libraries on the open source runtime. But in addition to that, at the top of the platform, we support Spark on Drip Spark to do all the processing in real time, machine learning, and so on. But also SQL using Apache Drill. That is another open source project related to Hadoop, but not part directly of Hadoop. And in addition to that, we have enhanced the database. So we support HBase, that is part of the Hadoop, but we have MapperDB. And MapperDB has two ways of, uh, you can use it as in two ways. One will be using the HBase API with a different storage, a more efficient storage, but the other one will be to use JSON documents directly inside the database. Um, same on, on the platform, we use the Kafka API to build stream database and data-oriented um, applications, so you will be able to do publish and subscribe messages in a fast and uh, highly, uh, highly available platform. This is part of Mapper platform and this is the Mapper Streams layer. So Hadoop is just one way of building applications, but we adopt all open source community because for us it is obvious that the best way to build application is using open source API. Mm -hmm. Then we change just the implementation, the infrastructure to have enterprise uh, ready platform. Mm -hmm.